Recruiters, you've had a successful initial outreach with your candidate. They've run you back. You've had a great initial call. What now? What happens next? Hi, I'm Suki from Professional Selection. Today I want to talk about the importance of building strong candidate relationships. So by now, you would have understood that I'm a firm believer in having a process in place. At, by this stage, you would have successfully onboarded your client in the role, um, researched and successfully had a successful outreach with candidates and, and an initial conversation. Now you're at that internal selection stage, and this is where the magic really starts to happen. Um, but one thing I would get you to bear in mind, yes, you are... As I said, it's the selection stage, so you're selecting whether that can is suitable for your role or not, but they're also selecting you as well as your clients. So always be mindful of that. This is two-way traffic here. The other point you need to remember, especially if the candidate is passive, they may not make a move for another six months. So again, appreciate we all have KPIs to meet. So now you've got a potential great candidate who really isn't going to be looking for a job for another three, six months. How much time are you going to invest in this individual? Well, that's where the relationship will pay dividends. I suggest, if they again, if they're in the niche that you recruit for and, and, and so forth, I suggest you have that conversation and you allocate at least 30 minutes, if not 45 an hour, depends on the level of candidate you're talking to. Remember, you, this is a long-term strategy. You may not see results tomorrow, i.e. in your placement figures for next month, um, but what you are, you're building your talent pool for three, four, five, six months down the road, possibly even a year down the road, depending on the, on the vertical you're recruiting in. So it's really important. This allows you to be proactive three, six months down the road, rather than be trying, having to go back to doing that initial um, research and outreach. But how are you going to build that relationship? Well, that relationship, like all relationships, has to be honest. It has to be two-way communication. But you have to listen. Listen to what the candidate is really saying. And in some cases, what the candidate is not saying. Um, listen to what their motivators are. Now, you've heard me talk about, I believe people are either running from something or to something. Um, so make sure you really understand that. And this is the opportunity for you to showcase your expertise within your particular niche. So give them some information, give them some market intel that they may or may not be aware of. It's all about building that relationship. Now, if that candidate is not moving forward with you right now, the other thing I'm going to say is stay in touch regular basis. Um, sometimes no news is no news is news. Um, get to know who they are outside of work. Understand who the person behind that particular role is. So this way the candidate's getting comfortable with you and they're understanding that she and they're recognizing and appreciating that you're interested in more than just making a placement. Ultimately, any candidate that you've built that relationship, when they are looking for that new position or they've decided to make a move, they're going to think of you and you're the person they're going to reach out to. Not only that, when they're talking to their friends, colleagues who are in a similar line of work, they're going to refer them to you because based on their experience. Anyhow, I'm sure there's um, other opinions and comments. We'd love to hear them. Feel free to leave them below and thanks for listening.